Okay, so before I go, I wanted to show you something that I'm going to do today. Um, I've had these jars, which were originally just pasta jars, okay. Um, and I have managed to get the label off with the help of my friend, the pink stuff. This stuff is literally exactly what it says, a miracle. Um, and I rinsed it, it still didn't come off, I was scratching away. So I just rubbed the pink stuff all over it and left it for a bit and it all came off so easily. So I'm going to make um, sharp and unsharp pencil holders. These are the labels that I'm going to be using and I will show you those later. I've just arrived into school, it's just after a quarter past seven. I've picked up my printing that I printed from home. And luckily, past Charlotte set up the lesson ready for today. So because I'm at a two form entry school, I'm doing maths and the other teacher is doing English. So I've set up our class and the other class. So it's all ready, did that on Friday after school. And I've just changed the date because what? It's February now, that's crazy. I've set up the visual timetable so my children know what we're doing today and now I'm going to write a to-do list of things I've got to get done this week. Also, I have this way more stuff than normal this week so I'll show you what's in my bag. Um, my mum just donated some raffle prizes for um, the bingo thing we have on Saturday. Also, my recent purchase. I have wanted to get one of these for my classroom for so long now. And I finally did it. It was eight pounds from the works. And if you don't know what they are, uh, basically you, un <laughs> you unzip the mouth, and they can put right down a worry, and that monster basically eats their worry. Um, and I thought it was adorable. Uh, also, more tissues. Here, are my jars. I'm going to sort out today. And I've got this little frame that I'm going to put a challenge in, and I'm going to have like an interactive challenge over there. Okay, here are the finished product. I've got my pre sharpen with the blunt, sharpeners in the middle, and then sharp pencils on the side. And then for a treat, they can use the electric one. But look, I'm so proud of that. I use the template, but then I changed the sharp and sharpen to these little flags because I thought it was cuter. But yeah, very impressed. Okay, I am back. It is actually 4.30. Um, I've done some things after school just by... I had to tidy up art because we did painting and I had loads of paint pots to wash. That's like the worst thing about teaching art is like the clean up afterwards. Um, then I got some things ready for the trip tomorrow because we're going to the aquarium. So I've got all the like risk assessment and the, the groups and everything printed and sorted ready to go. Um, I just thought I would show you what I did in my NQT time today. Okay, so I've hidden my school name. Um, basically, um, I started this last week, I don't know, like two weeks ago, and um, I went around all the classes in Key Stage 1, excuse the like rush handwriting. So as well as this, I made notes 
on my notebook of like um, any inspiration or things that they do. Um, but this is general stuff um, a couple of weeks ago. And then this was um, things from today and I wrote in those notes in my notebook again. Um, looking at year three, year four, year five and year six. Um, it was kind of hard because like you go in some classes and they're doing like a writing assessment but I got a few really good lessons that I um, got to watch but it's about 15 minutes. So yeah basically at Learning Rock you go around for like 10-15 minutes in each class with a specific focus. Mine was behaviour management and the strategies they use and you just write notes and watch them and it's quite nice because you get to go see everyone's classes and you get like display inspiration and stuff. Um, but it's something really good to do when you're on during your MQT time, that and observe lessons. Um, so it's a good thing to put in your folder and prove that you've done stuff in your MQT time. And I found it really helpful as well. Just before I go home, I've got like a list of things to take. I've got the group names, risk assessment, all these things that um, each group leader needs. So I'm going to put them all on a clipboard each so they can carry that around the aquarium. Um, I might do a little bit of final um, resource prepping for my observation on Thursday but then apart from that I'm just gonna chill. I might finish watching you because I'm still haven't finished the season two and I want to know what happens. <laughs> anyway see you tomorrow. Why did I do a peace sign? Oh my god. Good morning it is Tuesday and just like I mentioned yesterday with the clipboards Today we are going on our first out of school trip to Bristol Aquarium because our topic is um, commotion in the ocean. So I'm basically just setting up for the trip and getting everything ready. But I will show you what we did yesterday. Okay, I just need to um, close all their art books because they were doing the sea. Bearing in mind they are five and six years old. But we've been practicing like blending different colours, um, mixing colours in the first place. And then kind of blending them together so the sea looks a bit more realistic. Um, oh, that one's cute. Yeah, so I'm actually pretty impressed with how they turned out. So I'm just going to fold these all up and put them away. I just store them in this little basket. Um, but look, they've still got all their clay models out because we're waiting to put them in the kiln. But look how cute they are. Oh, I completely forgot I need to put all this away. Okay, all my little jobs are done, so I'm just going to have my breakfast, my overnight oats, and then just wait until my parallel teacher gets here so we can get ready for the trip together. I've got to find like, the school mobile phone, the high vis, all this stuff, and then I should probably read through the risk assessment whilst I eat my breakfast. But yeah, I'll check in with you later. Bye! Okay, so this is what we did in maths today. Um, I've got two extremes. This is like a very low ability where they were making the number 15 in four different ways. Um, and I got like pictures to help them because I'm not very good at drawing. <laughs> um, so there are 10 frames, Dean's, Numicorn, and then a place value chart. And then obviously at my very higher, he did 98. <laughs> and in the same way, but less support. And they look really cool. I was really impressed with them. I'm going to photocopy them and then put them over there, like my maths area, put them on display. But yeah, successful lesson. We had all the resources on the table so they could like draw around the Numicorn and the Deans and they'd make it practically before they wrote it down. Okay, it is 5.36. I'm just leaving school. I thought I'd show you the sunset through the playground for kids. I mean, you can't really see it as well. It looks a lot more orange in person, but it's still cute though. Good morning, it is Thursday and today is my observation, uh, first thing in the morning so I'm just about to set up for that. I didn't really film much yesterday because I was really lazy and I came in late so then there was loads of people around and I didn't want to vlog in front of everyone. 
Um, I showed you a few things and I'll try and film a bit more today. The reason I'm wearing a dressing gown is because um, after school I'm doing this year five um, night under the stars thing, basically because their, their topic is space and I thought I'd help out with it. Um, and they get to wear pyjamas so I put in big fluffy socks to wear instead of shoes and then a dressing gown. But it's minus three degrees outside, so I'm wearing it now, because um, I'm still freezing cold from de-icing my car. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I'm setting up. Um, yeah. Okay, so these are one thing that I've got set for my observation, um, which I've made. Now that I know how to do funky fonts, I've gone wild and making my own resources. Um, but basically, you're going to use them like this and find one more of one less because they're doing place value within 50 at the moment. So it starts low and then it's gonna go higher. This is actually for my lowers to do today and I might incorporate into a lesson um, tomorrow so that others can give it a go. For my middles, um, they are just gonna work on different representations and finding out one more or one less um, because that's what White Rose um, plans to do at this point in time. And I've just done different things like donuts, Nubicon, 10 frame, Deans, and then different night number lines and stuff. My highers, they're going to do this in the input because the input will be a bit not as challenging for them because they're very high. Um, and then they are going to be working through some white rose um, reasoning problems with the TA because obviously they know the answer but they're not very good at like explaining. So there's like this one this one and then there's a few more and I've got the answers from a TA <laughs> um, and then a little extension if anyone finishes these activities it's just filling in the gaps um, up to 50 so yeah that should be my list this is what my plan looks like so I've obviously got my one with all the names um, I've got one for my TA with the stuff regarding her this is for my mentor so it's really good to give them a lesson plan if they're observing you like if it's an interview or an observation. I'm also going to put out some deans so that they can, um, the lowers can make the numbers before they find more than more or less. So it'd be more helpful for them. So yeah, let me go set up and I will chat to you later. Okay, so here's my setup for my lower group. Um, I've got these all ready to go in order of ability, like, so they can start with orange and then go up to green. Um, this is to remind them how to form the numbers right, because we get a lot of backwards numbers. This one to help them um, with some of the higher ones, and then a number line for some of the lower ones. And um, pencils are there just in case they move on to extension. And deans. And I've given them a whiteboard and a pen. I am never this organised, by the way. Um, but it feels quite good, actually. So as soon as they come in, I don't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah. Observation! This is what I've been working on uh, for Child's Mental Health Week. Um, it's all about finding your brave. So we um, draw pictures of us being brave. In the words, the children have written down um, what they do to be brave. I just made a giant poster. Hello. Okay, it is, it's quarter past six in the evening. Um, I've just done this um, Night Under the Stars with Year 5. Like, I helped out with that because their topic is space. So that's taken up my sleep my whole evening. Um, but it was so cute and really fun. Um, it was quite nice to see some of like my children's older siblings as well. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. But now, um, I'm just about to leave. I thought I'd show you what we did in history today because I thought it was really, really cute. So, the children received a letter. Um, basically, um, one of the surviving crew members died recently and his family found a number of items in the attic. And these are basically like all the items that they sent us, supposedly. Um, and because we've been looking at the difference between upper class and lower class, um, they wanted us to like sort out the items so that they could return them to the real passengers. The letter says more. If you want to read it, give it a pause. 
Um, but loads of things like different types of clothes and some like jewellery and things, photo frames, um, there's like old letters and just loads of different things like this. Um, and it was such a good lesson. So we sorted out all the items into like upper and lower and what we think and why and they were like trying to give reasoning and everything. And then we ended up trying on some outfits and we did a bit of like <laughs> modelling of the outfits. Like, do you think this person is upper class or lower class? And there's like different dresses. The boys got dressed up in like hats and waistcoats. And it was just, yeah, they loved it so much. And it was really nice to see all the, the artifacts. Um, yeah, very active lesson that they're definitely going to remember. I've just put this poster here on my windowsill um, for now. But I think it adds a lot of colour to the room. I'm quite, I'm digging it. Okay, Thursday is done. One more day left and it's the weekend. Can't wait. It's been a busy one. Um, but I will catch up with you tomorrow morning. Bye. Yes, hot chocolate, Friday, feeling good. I have just taken out um, the clay sea creatures. And they look so cute. They did such a good job. I'm gonna paint them next week. I have officially made it to Friday evening. I've just got home and I thought I'd fill you in from the day um, now that I'm home because today was mental so I didn't really vlog that much. Plus. I didn't want to vlog when other people were around. So let me show you what we did today and a couple of things that made me smile. Okay, so this is what we did in English today. Um, we've been working on um, describing a character in a setting and basically putting it into a story. So um, we had a character, a setting and like part of the adventure of what happens. And they had to choose one and basically write some sentences about it. Um, some are better than others, um, but they tried really hard. Um, that was a more high ability one. They've actually been doing a lot of writing lately, um, and I'm just so proud. Like, they're really getting better. He used to be all over the place, like writing outside the lines, and now he's getting in the lines. Um, he's using bigger words and conjunctions, and yes, it's going very well. Another thing I wanted to show you is this new book that I've received today. Um, the head teacher was clearing out her cupboards and I picked up this book called People and it's just a gorgeous book all about all the different people in the world and um, like loads of facts about how many people there are and how we all like look different, different colours, skin and different body types and like different things that we do or different places we live and this was actually the first topic we did was all under one roof and we did look at stuff like this. Um, so. If I'm in the same class next year, this will be very helpful and just a generally a really good book for like PHSE and just story time, um, which is really interesting. So, um, yeah, looking forward to getting through that. I've only skimmed through it at the moment, but it looks very nice. Also, um, I came in this morning and a little girl gave me some flowers and a little card. First of all, I love this card and it says... I love Miss Aitken. I mean, there's no capital letter on the name, but I forgive her. Um, this is one of my lowers too, but she's so adorable. Oh, look at this. That made my whole day better before it even started. Um, however, this is what my weekend looks like. I would never take the books home, but I've got to write reports. I've got all their maths and English books so that I can write their reports and also some other things about like their book bands and all these are some assessment stuff. So basically, my first proper week in the life of a teacher and it's been like the busiest week ever. Um, I've had so many things going on after school and I had to stay late to do this like project that we've been working on. So my weeks aren't normally this hectic, but it's the second to last week before half term. So that's probably why. And I'm trying to get all this done um, before half term because I'm going away for a week so I'm doing that's why I'm doing all the reports now whereas a lot of my teacher friends are doing them during the holidays but no I want to see sunshine and eat ice cream during my February half term so I'm getting it all done now thank you for watching if you made it this far well done 
welcome to a life of me. <laughs> if you're after some more inspiration or like things what do teachers do, um, be sure to follow my Instagram because I post a lot of teaching ideas over there and basically post daily. So this is my name. And then subscribe to my channel for more teacher vlogs, classroom hauls, classroom transformations, teaching ideas, interview tips for your first teaching job. All those things are coming. Um, I'm quite excited to move this channel into more teaching themed. So yes, um, I'm going to go have some dinner now because I'm starving. So bye. <laughs>